Check it out here, folks. We have the Xsense carbon monoxide detector and the first alert carbon monoxide alarms from Amazon.com. I purchased them just the other day, straight out of the pack. I'm gonna be comparing them to various forensics detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, our aircraft vehicle carbon monoxide detector, our travel detector. FYI, these are both exactly the same. We do it because customers like different colors and we market this guy as our travel detector, folks. Xsense carbon monoxide detector from Amazon.com and our first alert, Carbon monoxide detector from Amazon.com, folks. We've got a little chamber here. We've got some gas. Here's our forensic detectors. Gasco, 500 parts per million carbon monoxide. A high level, folks. We're going to just blast some in to this chamber. Let's pop the lid on. Okay. We're going to blast some in. And then we're going to uh, see the levels increasing. We're going to see which one alarms first and just get a feel of the various levels and how they increase, folks. So just one little blast like that a few blasts and that should do it folks actually I, you know the xn starts reading above 30 parts per minute so i'd actually let me blast some a little bit more and i want to see how if it does actually register in this little test let's move the light make the lighting quite easy for everyone to see the lcd screens and let's give it a few seconds here the uh, travel detector has already um uh, detected the carbon monoxide at 14 parts per minute. And, and look folks look what happens is the carbon monoxide does get in it swirls around it rebounds off the back here and it comes back so it doesn't surprise me if this is first so that's typically what happens the carbon monoxide bounces back and hits that um, and these two are alarming now 10 and 14 and we have zero for the accents and zero for the first alert. The first alert starts displaying its carbon monoxide level at a certain level, I think it's over 30 parts per minute if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check the manual, but it's something like that folks. If there is carbon monoxide, that will show up starting at 30 parts per million. Now folks, the alarm protocol for the forensic detectors, travel and car aircraft version is nine parts per million in 60 seconds okay 60 seconds if it's above nine parts per million you're gonna see the LED the LED flashing okay there you go the travel is first and if it is over 25 parts per million that's when the buzzer kicks in okay we did that uh, deliberately to give it some time because we don't want to be um, scaring people as they're driving or in the aircraft I want to make sure it's actually over that threshold for some time and then we display the alarms by LED and buzzer Again, folks, 11, 14, low level. Both start displaying over eight parts per million. Xsense is zero, and we still see zero here. Now, they've sort of come to some type of um, steady state, so I'm gonna go forward and blast a little bit more because I wanna see the Xsense responding at about 30 parts per million. So let me give that a good blast. That was about, what was that, about three seconds or so? That's okay, we'll give it a blast and see how they are responding. And it gives you a feel of how fast these little detectors we have do respond. There you go, folks. Over 25 ppm, they're immediately alarming. These are the forensic detectors, travel and CO, aircraft and vehicle. We're starting to see the first alert. Check it out, folks, 32 parts per million. Not alarming, but it is displaying the carbon monoxide level and the excess still taking um, some time to come up to speed here. But check it out folks, they're sort of in agreement, 70s, and we've got 70 with the first alert. So that's good news, that's good news folks. Now here we go, XN started waking up, it's at 70 also folks, okay? Again, these alarm protocols is totally different to what we have here. The first alert corroborates with the UL2034 folks, look that up, that means it's gonna start alarming. It must be over 70 parts per million from 60 to 240 minutes, folks. That's when this guy alarms. Xsense, I've just read the manual here, and it says it's got a unique table, 30 ppm over 120 minutes, 50 ppm has to be 60 to 90 minutes, folks. So it needs some large amount of minutes for it to alarm, but it will give you an immediate response if it's over 300 parts per million. Okay, folks, now I'd just like to emphasize the X sensor doesn't seem to be UL2034 compliant. This is not a um, UL2034 detecting or alarming algorithm are compliant. The first alert is, okay? So be aware of that and folks, check it out. The first alert UL2034 is a must. It's a must. Many city states 
and local municipalities require you to have a UL2034 compliant detector. Get it, folks. Get it. Okay, you need that. That is the law. What we are basically doing here is showing you guys, if you want to be proactive, get something more sensitive to take action much earlier. It's good for everyone's health. Okay, now, we're still not seeing any alarms here. The travel and CO vehicle and aircraft is alarming and it's still going bazonkers. And that's basically, folks, okay? There you have it. Um, I can keep increasing and these will probably alarm later on once it reaches several hundred and if time elapses. But the point in this demo is to show you if you do purchase something more sensitive, you'll get the alarms and the warning you need much earlier. So you can take proactive action, decrease the window, get to fresh air, or what have you. It depends on the situation you're in. Okay, folks, till then, be well, be safe, and have a great day. See you later.